Trigonometric Identities Part 1 In mathematics, trigonometric identities are equalities that involve trigonometric functions that are true for every single value of the occurring variables. Geometrically, these are identities involving certain functions of one or more angles. They are distinct from triangle identities, which are identities involving both angles and side lengths of a triangle. These identities are useful whenever expressions involving trigonometric functions need to be simplified. Fundamental trigonometric identities are classified into three parts, reciprocal identities, quotient identities, and Pythagorean identities. Let's start with reciprocal identities. The first identity is sine theta is equals to 1 over cosecant theta. The second reciprocal identity is cosine theta is equal to 1 over second theta. And lastly, tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta. Now here are some alternative identities of the reciprocal identities. We have here sine theta times cosecant theta is equal to 1. Another, cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. These are the alternative identities of sine theta equals 1 over cosecant theta. Let's proceed to the next alternative identities. Cosine theta times second theta equals 1. Second theta equals 1 over cosine theta. These two alternative identities are the identities of cosine theta equals 1 over second theta. The last pair of alternative identities are tangent theta times cotangent theta equals 1 and cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. These are the alternative identities of tangent theta equals 1 over cotangent theta. Second fundamental trigonometric identities are the quotient identities. There are two identities for quotient identities. These identities came from the reciprocal identities. The first quotient identity is tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. The second quotient identity is cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta. Now here are some alternative identities for quotient identities. Sine theta equals tangent theta times cosine theta. Another, cosine theta equals sine theta over tangent theta. These two alternative identities are the alternative identities of tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. The last pair of the alternative identities are cosine theta equals cotangent theta times sine theta. And lastly, sine theta equals cosine theta over cotangent theta. This last pair of alternative identities are the alternative identities of cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta. And lastly, the Pythagorean identities. We have three Pythagorean identities. First is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Next, tangent squared theta plus 1 equals second squared theta. And lastly, 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cos second squared theta. And here are their alternatives. Sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Next, 
cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. This first pair of alternative identities is the alternative identities of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Let's proceed to the next pair. We have here tangent squared theta equals second squared theta minus 1. Next, second squared theta minus tangent squared theta equals 1. This pair of alternative identities is the alternative identity of tangent squared theta plus 1 equals second squared theta. Lastly, we have here another pair which is cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta minus 1 and cosecant squared theta minus cotangent squared theta equals 1. The last pair of alternative identities are the alternative identities of 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. In simplifying trigonometric expressions, you need to utilize the trigonometric identities. The basic rule in simplifying trigonometric expressions is to always modify the functions that are not sine and cosine. Some of them require a few more steps in simplifying trigonometric expressions, while others are not. Example A. Simplify the following trigonometric expressions using trigonometric identities. Number 1. Second theta times cosine theta. For our solution, we will have here our expression, second theta times cosine theta. Next, we will substitute, we will substitute second theta with 1 over cosine theta using one of the reciprocal identities. After that, we multiply 1 over cosine theta with cosine theta. With that, our answer is cosine theta over cosine theta. But we need to cancel out in order for us to simplify and remember any expression divided by itself is equivalent to 1. That means second theta times cosine theta is equal to 1. Number 2. Cotangent theta times sine theta. For our solution, we copy our given. We substitute cotangent theta with cosine theta over sine theta. We used one of the quotient identities. With that, we multiply cosine theta over sine theta with sine theta. The result is cosine theta times sine theta all over sine theta. As you can see in this expression, we can, as we simplify this expression, we cancel out sine theta. With that, cotangent theta times sine theta is equal to cos sine theta. Number 3. Sine squared theta plus cos sine squared theta. For our solution, we copy the given, and then since the given is a Pythagorean identity, which is sine squared theta plus cos sine squared theta equals 1. That means the answer is 1. Number 4. 1 plus tangent squared theta. For our solution, this is our given. Since the given is a Pythagorean identity wherein tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to second squared theta. Since we need to arrive with sine or cosine function, 
we need to continue simplifying this expression. Remember, second is just equivalent to 1 over cosine. Since this is it, since this is in squares, so our answer will be 1 over cosine squared theta. Number 5, tangent squared theta times cosecant squared theta. For our solution, we copy the given, then sine theta is equal to sine theta over since tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, and if we get the square of this, it is tangent squared theta equals sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And while cosine while cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta, so cosecant squared theta equals 1 over sine squared theta by reciprocal identity. With this, we have our expression sine squared theta over cos sine squared theta times 1 over sine squared theta. Simplifying this, we arrive with 1 over cos sine squared theta because we simply cancel out sine squared theta. So our answer is 1 over cosine squared theta.